Um, what's up everybody? Back at it with another video here. And we are going to be expressing basically like what the market is that we're looking at here when we start investing in a cryptocurrency. And we are that guy right there. I want a perfect circle. All right, so this is how I would explain it. Right now, we're not here yet. Right now, we're like about right here. So we'll leave those lines of expression there. And what this is, is quick difference here. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got the United States, uh, China. I don't know how to abbreviate. Europe, Europe, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then we got cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is probably like, this looks like it'd be a good 15% of money value put in. And then we got, wait, that's 85, right? Right, right, 80. 90, yes, 85% is not there yet. We're literally looking at an untapped market here, like straight untapped. Why? Because we literally don't have, we have 85% of our economy not invested in cryptocurrency yet. Like I was saying before, what's going to happen when we put 100% of our US dollars into cryptocurrency, we're basically duplicating now 0% and 100% in cryptocurrency. This right here remains. This right here is what just happened. We, we uh, pretty much took 100% of our money and put it into cryptocurrency. Now, what would that do to any market? If we all put our money into Apple stock, everybody did that all at the same time, would that, yeah, it would spike, it would go up like crazy. It would be insane, right? So this is to show literally that we're doing that right now, but slowly, like we, the reason why markets hold this baseline value and they don't ever go, beneath is because there's so many people that are that are holding they're they're creating the base they're holding and if they were to sell the whole market would would collapse but that's the thing is that nobody's nobody's just willing to sell out a cryptocurrency people are trading it just like they trade our dollar to china dollar to europe dollars except for it's way more volatile volatile like it's up and down and it's up and down like if you go and look at Binance, you can see that there's a lot of markets that are just volatile. They're, they're up and down. That's not a bad thing. The more money we funnel, the more it becomes like these ones, how they go up and down barely any because there's they're also shredding money. They're getting rid of money. They're adding money. And they're spending money. And then they're burning it, getting, making more, spending it, burning it. We're going to be taking this kind of economy, this circle of economy in our U.S. dollars, and we're going to be putting it into cryptocurrency, forcing cryptocurrency to duplicate our economy. So once our economy is duplicated into cryptocurrency, we've created a peer-to-peer -peer network of literally as much as our economy is, even if it's 50% on this side, right? 50% on this side, we're talking the value of cryptocurrency is going to skyrocket. Um, and we're not even talking the US economy, we're talking the entire world economy here. All right, we're talking a shared network where we can, we can communicate through money, like we can use money online to do multiple things. 
you don't have to deal with banks. You don't have to deal with all this ATM fees. You don't have to deal with these certain things that when you're being run by a bank entails. We don't have to worry about that anymore. We can have 50% caring and 50% not caring. All right. And if the scales ever tip and here's US dollars, this is exactly what's going to happen. I mean, I can't say exactly what's going to happen. What's going to happen to this circle, this bubble, is that it's going to go, it's going to like this, right? We're start with 50-50. Let's draw another one and let's, let's start, with, and then it'll go like this. So, so here's crypto, here's US dollars. 50% this way, 50% that way. All right, I don't know where it happened. Right here, this line right here is, let me erase it. This line right here represents the market line that I just drew out, all these lines. That's what this center line represents. Okay, 50%. In cryptocurrency, 50% in US dollars, right? Makes sense, right? So we've got 50 50, all of a sudden, 1585. Cryptocurrency has gained 85% of our economy, 50, 80%. They're gonna hold 100%. They have to keep the US dollars going. That's why when I say that we're gonna duplicate our money by putting it in cryptocurrency, that's what we're doing. We're not destroying the U.S. dollars. They can't do that. The Federal Reserve is not going to let that happen. So what happens? Just like any economy, just like trading on Fe uh, um, Forex, people are going to go from cryptocurrency into U.S. dollars and jump U.S. dollars up. And once that happens, what's going to happen to U.S. dollars? It's going to jump over here, maybe do, maybe do a 40, 60. So now all of a sudden, as you can see, this is what that is happening. Because we keep jumping back and forth, this little line, it might move here, it might move there, might move over there. And as that happens, we create a graph. We create a market, something that we're able to trade here. And so quite literally, we're, we're only inventing more money is what we're doing with cryptocurrency. We're just inventing more money. Is that a problem? No, that's actually really, really genius for anybody who knows what, what they're talking about early on, because we're still fresh. We're literally cryptocurrency right here. And then we've got the whole entire world economy on the side. Okay, so what happened? Well, my phone ran out of batteries, so <laughs> uh, let's get back into it. Uh, so what happens when, you know, the whole world starts really investing, like actually investing in cryptocurrency, like seeing it as an asset, you know, rather than, you know, just a trading tool, something to make money. Um, you know, we'll get that volatility that I was explaining where it's going to be like back here, back there. And you guys, we're going to, we got silver, we've got gold palladium all these other things that are also doing that like okay what would happen if like let's replace cryptocurrency with silver so cryptocurrency is the same thing as silver it is here's how silver dollars 100 percent of our money we give to silver what's going to happen to silver Ding, 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 ding. It's going to go freaking crazy. It's going to go up. But the the United States dollar is going to have to remain in, in circulation no matter what. It'll have to remain in circulation. So if we all put our money in silver, we would duplicate our money as well. And the Federal Reserve would have nothing. They can't do anything about it. Right? Because we can't just go to a store and be like, here's an ounce of silver. I need $18 worth of stuff, right? So they have to keep our money in circulation. So why not everybody put their money in silver as well? We have literally the Federal Reserve at our fingertips. Like 
literally the the money that we can make by using the fact that they have to keep the economy the same or else these banks will all fail they will all collapse we'll have no wells fargo we'll have no freaking chase we'll have none of those so we put all our money in silver and gold what's going to happen it's going to freaking skyrocket the us dollar it's up to the to the banks what happens to its value because silver is unspendable but if we literally put 100 percent of our dollars in there everybody's going to see that impact and everybody's going to have that increase so if you got in 18 bucks and it goes to 70 bucks only whoever got in at 18 and on up is going to make really money really good money everybody else who's getting in at 60 and 65 less and less and less it takes more to buy one than you know 60 and to buy an 18 dollar you know versus 60 dollars you know so getting in at the bottom is super important uh i mean look at the bitcoin graph or is it like this and it and then it's got this nice spike right here guys it's gonna i mean i swear it's gonna go up i swear it's gonna go up again probably like thirty thousand dollars um because i mean you got the cartel you've got literally you've got like criminal companies who work through the black market and through the dark web that are going to be investing in them their money that's what their form of currency is as well they're not just they're not just using i mean think of it this way if you were um if you were dealing if you were sending cocaine over to the u.s and instead of dealing with cash and having cash being able to get seized and having cash that you can't put in banks, cash that, that they won't freaking take. So what are you going to do? You're going to freaking dig holes and put tons of cash in them? No. What are you going to do? You're going to make a coin. You're going to put value into the coin. You're going to invest your money into the coin and thus create an online market where your money is cozy, wrapped in blankets. Wrapped in blankets. Happy money. The U.S. Federal Reserve, the banks can't touch it. They can't mess with it. Peer to peer, peer to peer. If they're you know, the black market, the dark web, all this stuff, they're using these monies. All sorts of currencies, Dogecoin. You got everything. And you can. You have a different. You have a diverse market that you can split your money up and your profits in. And so yeah, we're gonna see a really big shift in the economy probably like 10 years in 10 years you know um because like i was saying we're like right here it's going to take a bit for our uh, economy our, our millennials baby boomers older people you know the generations uh before and after us to realize that they are also at the very beginning you know, they're at the $18 of silver right now, which silver should be, what is it, like 20 to 1 for gold? So it should be at like 70 bucks right now. But it's not, it's so undervalued. So why doesn't everybody put their money in silver? You duplicate it. Let's set up a quote real quick. Let's get this on the road. Because a thing, a thing, because a thing seems difficult for you, do not think it impossible. Neat. That's a good one. Because I think because a thing seems difficult for you, do not think it impossible. Marcus Aurelius. What a genius. Alright guys. Take care. Have a good night.